Hello, this is G420 Goddess, Tarot for the Golden Goddesses and Gods. I'm back with another love message for someone. And um, this was a pretty in-depth read. So I picked up all the cards, put them together so I could read them back to you. Of course, I've cleared the space of all negative energy I've prayed over the cards, and I'm going to read you what came out. The first card that came out, excuse me, was the Two of Cups. Okay, so this let me know this was going to be about some kind of union, relationship, uh, attraction. Okay? But the next card that came out was the death card and I spirit is telling me that something came to an end in order for something to have a new beginning a rebirth okay with the death card the next card that came out was the queen of wands I could be talking to some of my fire sign ladies or men, energy flows, okay? Take it how it resonates. And so um, whoever I'm talking to is very beautiful, has a very magnetic personality, very determined, very independent, okay? Very confident, okay? It's the queen of wands. And the next card that came out was the Ace of Cups, okay? And the hand is pointing towards her, okay? The offer is, is being offered to this Queen of Wands. An uh, uh, offer from the Most High regarding a new beginning in love. Some of you guys, this could be a... a birth of a new relationship um, this cup overflows with love and it normally leads to marriage okay so somebody is offering this beautiful queen of wands another opportunity at love and the next card that came out was the three of pentacles so we know this is some kind of union, okay? Some kind of collaboration, you know, people working together, all right, with the Three of Cups. Let me move this because I'm telling you guys, okay? The next card that came out was the Hierophant card. I could be talking to a Taurus, okay? But this person, and I get that this is... Uh, a male energy I'm talking to. This could be uh, somebody who's very traditional, somebody who's very religious, somebody who may have sought some kind of guidance from a religious leader, but this person is, is very spiritual, okay? So I'm getting, I'm getting a energy that this hierophant, this traditional spiritual guided person was very much attracted to this queen of wands. Okay. Everything about her, her beauty, her independence, her strength, her fiery personality. And he looked at this queen of wands as the empress. Okay. I'm like, I, I was so excited about this read, okay? So, I believe that this high refined energy is looking at this Queen of Wands as the Empress, okay? Somebody who has it all, somebody who's down to earth. We got to remember the Empress embodies every last queen in the deck, okay? So, we know she's beautiful, Okay, and the Empress is full of love. Okay, that's what she's about. She's very grounded. Okay, 
she's very fertile as far as ideas, as far as giving birth to just different things, okay? But you're going to come out a winner all the time. And look at all these major arcanas that came out back to back. The lover's card, okay? So not only did we start off with the two of cups, we are also working with the lover's card. So to me, that clarified this Hierophant energy with this Empress and Queen of Wands energy, okay? And the Knight of Cups. I think this traditional person, this person carrying the Hierophant's energy, took a little too slow to offer this Empress a cup of love, all right? But well, we're going to see where it, where it leads us. And remember, knights are younger men. So this could have been um, an older woman, younger man situation, or vice versa, older man, younger woman. But I'm really getting, I'm really getting, I'm really feeling this was an older woman, younger man, okay? Attraction. And with the high priestess, okay, I'm, I'm telling you, somebody in, intuition was on point, okay? The high priestess, somebody intuition was high, okay? So she used her knowledge and wisdom. And if I'm correct, the high priestess and the empress are sisters, okay? But the empress could have got... <laughs> You know, guidance from the high priest is dealing with this hierophant energy, okay? With the hangman, though, this relationship left somebody stuck in their head. And being an older woman, younger man situation, they they could have figured out they had different viewpoints, you know, every, <laughs> Everything wasn't meshing like they thought it was. And uh, due to misunderstandings, this created with the Five of Wands a lot of conflict. You know, this Knight of Cups may have felt like he had to compete with this Empress energy. <laughs> he was in a no-win situation, okay? With the Eight of Swords, this left, this knight, mm -hmm. or this could have been a Hierophant who just was a little, uh, he was traditional, but he was just younger, okay? He, he, he had the knight energy, but it left this knight stuck in his head, okay? Feeling like he was in some kind of mental uh, prison, like he couldn't figure shit out. He was just stuck. I could be talking to somebody who was dealing with a younger uh, man, energy, who was actually locked up, okay? But with the Ace of Wands coming out next, it was a lot of passion between <laughs> these two people, okay? It was a lot of passion, okay? But with the Knight of Swords in reverse, here we go with these knights, okay? This person felt disabled. They, they felt like they, they couldn't do nothing. That, that they were actually really <laughs> stuck dealing with this Empress, okay? They felt like uh, this Empress had moved on. All right, she was done with all the petty <clears throat> fighting and conflict. And these, these, this knight or this hierophant with the knight energy, he, he, he felt like this empress had moved on. And with her strength, she did. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. With the strength card, she did. She moved on. She got away from that immature energy. Okay? 
she had a spiritual awakening one day. She said, forget all this lust, okay, and passion and, and good young dick, okay? Y'all know how I feel about, about this ace of wands, okay? It's everything good. And in relationships, it's really passionate, great sex. Somebody got some good dick. And that emperor said, uh-uh, that, uh, no, okay? So she got some spiritual awakening. She started healing. She said she was not going to close out loving someone again. She was going to reevaluate some things, give love a second chance. And she was just going, you know, the next person she met, she was with the, excuse me, Queen of Swords. She was just going to go into it with her head instead of her heart, okay? And she was just going to pretty much focus on her, her, her pinnacles. And with the nine of pinnacles that came out next, I was absolutely correct, okay? You know, she knew she was complete. She just was missing that beautiful counterpart. And we're talking about an empress, okay? So... With that, anybody that was coming with any kind of immature offers with this page of Pentacles, pretty much she was just going to send them on her way, okay? Because she knew with or without a counterpart, she is the Ten of Pentacles, okay? She is completion. She is established. She's traditional, okay? She is uh, capable of leaving generational wealth behind her. So the empress don't have shit to worry about, okay? So she concentrated. She stayed focused. The Most High told her, stay focused on the real prize, and I will, Bless you with someone. And you guys, I, I can't even make this up. At the bottom of the deck, the emperor card. This is a divine union. Okay? Didn't I say at the beginning, something had to come to an end with the death card in order to be rebirthed? Okay? So, I believe that through everything... Because in order to become an empress, we have to go through certain things in life, okay? We have to experience love, heartache, uh, some type of betrayal. We have to get that knowledge and wisdom in order to understand what we really deserve in life. And this empress deserves her emperor. And the Most High says, if you stay focused, Okay, if you stay focused, I will bring you what you deserve. I don't know who this reading is for, but I just had to share it. And God bless you, because we all want to be loved equally. Okay, we do. All we want to do is be understood. Okay, and with that, my loved ones. My beautiful collectives, stay positive, stay blessed, and until next time, this is G420 Goddess, Tarot for the Golden Goddesses and God. Take care. <laughs>